Kohanur, which means mountain of light, is a colorless diamond, which was discovered in the mines of Guntur in Andhra Pradesh, somewhere in the 13th century. It was the biggest diamond ever known, to mankind during that time. Currently this diamond is embedded in the Queen Mother's ground. Government of India, Pakistan, Iran, and Afghanistan, have all claimed its ownership of this diamond, but the UK government has denied it, stating that it was obtained legally. Kohanur has rich history behind it, though it generally believed that this diamond was discovered in the 13th century, during the Kakataya dynasty rule. It is believed that, the diamond was first mentioned more than 5,000 years ago in a Sanskrit script, where it was called Syamanteka. It is worth mentioning that, there is only speculation that the Syamanteka, and the Kohanur are the same diamond. There are scholars, who dispute the saying that, the diamond was discovered in the 16th century, in Gokanda. Alauddin Kilji, who was the second ruler of the Kilji dynasty, of the Delhi Sultanate attacked South India, in the early 14th century, his army looted the kingdoms of southern India. Malik Kafir, who was Alauddin Kilji's general, at that time actually attacked Varangal successfully, and possibly acquired the diamond. Kohanur remained in the Kilji dynasty for some time. When Babur established the Mughal Empire in 1526, by defeating Lothi dynasty, he came into the possession of the diamond. He actually is reported to have called the stone, the diamond of Babur, even though it had other names before it came into his possession. Shah Jahan, who was the fifth Mughal emperor, placed the stone into his peacock throne. When Nader Shah invaded Delhi in 1739, the treasury of the Mughal Empire was looted by his army. He took along with him several valuable items, which included the peacock throne, and the Kohanur diamond. When Nader Shah allegedly saw the diamond, he exclaimed Kohanur meaning mountain of light, which is how the stone finally got its current name. After Nader Shah Empire collapsed in 1747, the diamond was given by his grandson to Ahmed Shah Abdelai, who was the founder of the Afghan Empire. One of Ahmed's descendants named, Shah Shuja Durrani, actually wore a bracelet, which contained Kohanur. Shuja, later ended up forming an alliance with United Kingdom, to help defend against possible invasion of Afghanistan by Russia. When Shuja was overthrown by Mahmud Shah, he managed to flee with the diamond, and went to Lahore. He met the founder of Sikh Empire, Maharaja Ranjit Singh. He gave the gem to him in return for his hospitality. When the Kingdom of Punjab, was formally annexed to the company rule in 1849, following the Second Anglo-Sikh War, Kohanur was officially ceded to Queen Victoria. Kohanur was later shipped to Britain. Diamond was gifted to Queen Victoria, in 1850, and Kohanur has been in possession of the royal family since then. After the diamond was handed to Queen Victoria, it was exhibited at the Crystal Palace, a year later. But the Mountain of Light was not shiny as the other cut gemstones of that era. Queen Victoria wore the diamond occasionally afterwards. She left in her will that, the Kohanur should only be worn by a female queen. If the head of state was a man, his wife would have to carry the diamond. After Queen Victoria's death, the Kohanur became part of the crown jewels.